I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And we're coming to you today from Deepak Home Base in New York. My very special guest today is Johan Ernst Nilsson. He's a Swedish explorer. He's the president of the Everest Summiters Association. He has done over 30 expeditions in 120 countries. He's the ambassador for the International Union for Conservation of Nature. He's a fellow and board member of the Explorers Club. And he also works as a personal coach to leaders all over the world. He has coached uh, from one person to over 4,000 people in over 50 countries. He's focused on motivation, inspiration, and environmental awareness. He's spoken in over hundreds of companies on all seven continents. So I'll stop reading all his accomplishments. Uh, let's first of all welcome you to the show. Thank you, Thank you for coming here. Pleasure Tell here. me a little bit about your childhood and your early life. Well, when I was a kid, I had the lowest grade in, in gymnastics. So um, I got tired of being inside that comfort zone. So one day I was watching somebody playing the piano and I asked my parents, like, who's that? Well, his name is Elton John, he plays the piano. And I said, I want to learn how to play like that. And she, they said, the motivation and focus, and you can learn how to play the piano. And a few years later, I was, a, I was a pianist and I worked all over France and Sweden and played the piano. And I was sitting at the Grand Hotel in Stockholm and just discussing that with motivation and focusing, you can do whatever you want to in life. And my friend said, well, since you had the lowest grade in gymnastics, you can't do anything physical. I said, I can bike from here to Hamburg if I would like to. And we made a bet. The next week I would put my bike together. And How I would, old were you? I was 23. And I was about to bike to the Sahara in Africa. So that's how it all started. And then I was just, you know, thrilled by the, you know, by the thought so of... So you biked from where? From, from Stockholm to the Sahara. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. So it took 52 days. To the Sahara? I threw up the first day. It was the worst thing I ever done in my entire life. I wanted to give up every day, but I didn't want to go back to that comfort zone, you know? So I felt like, you know, what more can I do in life? So I started more and more to push my limits, climbing Everest, going North Pole, South Pole, you know, kayaking. You reached the peak in Everest? On Everest, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I climbed all the seven summits around, around the world. And it's all based on the mindset. If you set your mind to it, you, you can turn the impossible into possible. That's what I believe. And so what else have you done? You've done all these expeditions. You've climbed Everest. Yeah, I've climbed Everest. I, I, I kayaked from Stockholm to Africa in, um, in a sea kayak. Um, I've now done an expedition from the North Pole to the South Pole, which took 525 days. So 18 months of being outside in tents and sailboats and different kind of places. Um, and my mindset is always that, you know, I'm interested a lot in seeing what is possible because I believe that impossible is just a word uh, for something that we don't understand.